Hey guys, it's Kevin again with 360RV Reviews. We're going to do an install today. Um, it's going to be for my bathroom fan, which stopped working uh, a couple trips ago. I'm going to be installing this Vortex 2 fan. I've installed one of these on a previous RV that I've had, and um, it works fantastic. It's not the quietest fan in my experience, but it moves some air, and you can make it go in and out. So you can push air out, and you can pull air in. It does wonders for cooling off your trailer on a on a nice cool summer night where you don't need to run the air conditioning. So let's get into the bathroom and start disassembling and uh, installing this kit. So let's go. Okay, so we're in the bathroom and uh, we need a, a square drive screw to remove this part of the cover and we're also going to need to remove the screw right there which I need to go get my Phillips head screwdriver. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take off the control knob right here for that which means I gotta get a different tip. So it'd be better to be prepared but I left my other screwdriver on the roof of the RV so not climbing up there right now to get it anyway so we just got to get this screw off so we can remove the cover all the interior cover so uh, there we go we got that part off and now we're gonna take these four screws off that hold the interior shroud on and I'm getting a phone call so we'll be right back and we're back. I have my wife going and getting me supplies at Home Depot for another part that we're doing. I'm going to be wiring an inverter into my battery box and it's going to make it so all I have to do is plug in my cord and then turn my inverter on. So basically I'm reconnecting to shore power through an inverter kind of thing. So anyway, let's get this all the way off. And then we'll show you what we have to do. So this part comes out and it's just a trim kit. And the, the, the new fan, I don't remember if it comes with a new one. Of, no, I don't think it comes with a new trim, which is good because our fan is, our thing is quite angled. So what we have to do is we have to rip all of this out. And it's not really in there all that well. But we have to take this out and then we have to disconnect the wires right here because we're going to be reconnecting these power wires into the new oh man those are on there into the new fan and this is dirty sorry it's kind of a dirty job anyways but uh now what we've got to do is we've got to rip this guy off of here so i think what i did on the last one is i drilled out those rivets but i may just Pull this off so this fan completely stopped working let's pull the fan blade off of it it should pull right off there pull the fan blade off and we have to get rid of it completely so let me go get my snips it's a piece of roof uh, i'm gonna go get my snips and and just cut that off so i'll be right back okay so i've got my snips um there's a number of ways that you can remove these but I think the easiest way is just going to be go ahead and snipping this bracket off because we don't want it there anymore. And I've almost got it and it's off. Okay. So that wire is going to need to be cut right here because we need the black and the white wire for the new fan install. And go ahead and cut the white wire right there. Uh, and so this one here is really no use anymore. Get rid of that. So we have the black and the white wire here. And it's going to use wire nuts now. So I'll go ahead and cut these off one at a time so we don't short it out. And strip them plenty long 
So we have plenty of catch on the wire nuts. All right, so the next step is basically going to be installing the the new fan assembly. And I will explain to you why we had to... Let's see, that, that that's okay. Okay. All right, so we'll get the new fan assembly, and I'll show you what it's in it. Opening the box, uh, you're really only going to find the fan assembly. So here's the fan assembly right here. Um, you have to put it in a certain way because this, this little gear right here has to engage into the gear there to raise and lower the, the cover. And it's basically, you just turn this knob um, and I believe you get, yes, it looks like you get two different positions for this and we won't know which position it needs to be in until we kind of put it up there. So. Before I do any electrical connections, I'm going to go ahead and stick it up there and see how well it fits. And it looks like we are going to be okay with that gear location. This guy goes up in like so, and it's, I believe it's in position. Yeah. Let's see. No, it's not in. Oh, we've got a got a monkey with it a little bit. I think it does need to be in that uh, closer position. I'll take a tape measure and figure it out. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have repositioned the um, the gear winder thing to the second position, and then um, you can reuse the knob. I do believe it comes with a new knob, but I'm just pushing it on here to be able to, to rotate this. So when I put it up here, I have the ability to uh, rotate it a little bit. Let me get the wires a little bit out of the way for now. So the wires are clear out of the way. And we're gonna try this again and go up with this guy right into here. Just like this and up. get this thing turning to be able to get it to engage into the gear okay so what I've done is I've taken this uh, the gear assembly off of the vortex fan and attached it here so it's a little easier to manage uh, to line it up I've got these wires stripped and ready to go I trimmed out some of the roofing material because it was in the way and I had some staples sticking out so went ahead and popped those staples down uh, everything else is is exactly the way it needs to be uh, although I probably should bend that guy up a little bit. It's probably going to be in my way a tiny bit. I didn't really do anything, so we're going to try it out. I don't think it'll make any contact there. So, um, yeah, so we're going to connect the wires. And then we're going to go and completely attach this thing up there. So I've got some blue wire nuts here. get these things attached uh, blue yeah blue work so this is the hard part because you really kind of need like four hands so we're gonna go ahead and I hope this thing's not turned on because that'll hurt if it turns on on me so one wire nut and two wire nuts Connected. This really doesn't need to be a watertight connection because there's not supposed to be any water up here anyway. So um, we've got to also make sure that the wires don't come in contact with the fan blades. And it looks like we're going to be pretty much okay. I do need to make sure that, that stuff is out of the way of my gear assembly. So I kind of just did a little weird job of assembly on that. So we're just going to go straight up, guide in the gear assembly. I took the cover off the fan in order to move this guy around a little bit to get it to get get it to go where I need it to go. And it looks like we are going to 
There it goes. Okay. Uh, and looks like we've made it. Hand cover is a little bit wonky. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. All right. So we got one screw and a Phillips head screwdriver. This is interesting because I have to do this one handed, but it's not impossible. Uh, up. And start screwing that in. There's a hole already in the fan assembly. And there's already a hole in the, um, the frame up top. So we just gotta get it to go into its spot. And I think I've got both of them in their spot. Yep, okay, I got them both in. Let's double check. Yes, we are completely attached. Test it again. So on low, that's low forward, meaning pulling air out. It's pretty quiet. I mean, it's, it's not a, it's not a $500 Fantastic or Max fan, but it's a $70 upgrade that you don't really need to do too much to. So let me get it all buttoned up and then uh, we'll give it a full test. Okay, we're buttoning this back up. I forgot to give you guys the step of screwing this, um, screwing the gear mechanism back in here so you can actually use it. So we're just tightening these screws up to get this to go back together. Let's see. Then we're gonna put the knob on and give it a test. Oh, look at that, it works. Open and close of the vent. All right, let me finish buttoning it up. Okay, install complete, put it on low, and that's it. I will probably wire in a remote switch for that because I don't want to come up here and turn this on every day. So anyway, that's it guys, pretty quick. Not super duper duper easy install, but if you've got a couple of screwdrivers and the stuff that you need to do it with, then it's pretty simple. So, nice fan upgrade for about 70 bucks. All right, uh, that's the end of this video. Um, remember to subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment of what kind of things you might want us to do in the future, and uh, we will see you on the next video. Bye.